Hello all Kalex enthusiasts. Uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dimitri and today we will talk about intake on Kalex 250 and on Kalex 300. Um, what most of the Kalex owners who consider improving performance do, they jump straight to replace the muffler. And honestly, with all my experience, this is not the best way to spend your money and the uh, returns on changing muffler are diminishing. And um, what I strongly encourage everyone is to consider um, first to focus on the intake. So the first thing you, sh you need to do and you might probably know it is to remove the subthrottle valve which controlled by ECU. That's easy to do and you can find a lot of videos on YouTube and uh, a lot of instructions how to do that. There is no downside doing that. So this is the first free chief mode. Then the second one is snorkel. So there is, there is I have a spare airbox here and uh, it comes with the cover, with the lid, which goes this way. And then there is this part called snorkel. It goes this way. And all the air going inside the engine go through this snorkel, through this very, very small channel. I have some measurements here. Uh, and the standard snorkel area of these uh, two chambers is about 814 millimeters. And um, yeah, it's pretty small. And the reason why the Kawasaki made the snorkel, I think it's to reduce the intake noise. But this thing is really small. And uh, when uh, enthusiasts start researching, about intake, the first thing, thing which um, pops up is the KDX snorkel. This snorkel is from KDX 200 or KDX 220. Uh, it's like a trail bike, two stroke made by Kawasaki uh, till 2005, if I remember correctly. So it's a drop in replacement uh, for standard snorkel. You just, uh, yeah, basket here. So you just insert it this way. Uh, it's bolt on and you can just replace it. And insert it this way. Uh, it is quite bigger. So in contrast to the standard uh, area of the intake, KDX have about 1,900 square millimeters which is more than twice bigger. And um, it actually provides uh, some noticeable power gains in the mid-range. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, not the mid-range, but across, uh, across the entire RPM range. And uh, I will attach um, the tiny chart comparison of this snorkel versus this snorkel. So here is the tiny chart. Uh, this was... Uh, when I still had Kalex 250 and as you can see there is a, about one newton meter and one horsepower gain between 5000 rpm to 7000 rpm and uh, there is no like any downside of putting this snorkel instead of the standard one uh, the intake still quite uh, is quiet and uh, yeah it's, it's drop in replacement I think it costs about 35 to 30 dollars, um, which is not free, but uh, it's, it's, it's pretty affordable. The third option is just the, the free mode. It's just instead of uh, putting KDX snorkel, you just remove the snorkel and you put lid like that. And you have air coming directly to the, your air filter. And I think one of the benefits is that um, your snorkel does not um, affect the airflow to the air filter 
so there is more area on the air filter which can suck the air I did measure it on the, on this setup on the Dyna and it's shown the pretty much the same result as KDX snorkel so I would expect a, a little bit more but uh, it is what it is um, um, and the third option which is really high performance and which is um, kind of usually overlooked people think that this, this thing kiddies snorkel flows enough is just running without the airbox lid so you remove the cover and you keep your airbox like that this actually provides the best performance so it's about 10 percent more performance just by removing it so i found uh, one of my old dyna charts and you need to focus on two lines the pink one and the red one the pink one is the open lid and the red one is the kdx snorkel so as you can see the difference is about two horsepower or 7.5 percent downside is that your intake not noise is considerable so I like the power, but I don't use bike without the lead on every day because it's it's really roaring, it's a low tone noise. So I don't like it. Maybe for racing it's okay, but uh, not for for everyday use. So this brings us to the short part. So I was wondering if it's possible to get best of two worlds having uh, no noise um, intake and yet try to flow it as much as possible as the um, airbox without cover without leaf so i started to design a custom snorkel with the modern technologies like 3d printing it is possible so i took the measurements I first designed this snorkel, uh, it's just like the very first prototype, and then I used my breadboard, I cut the hole, and <laughs> I put the snorkel in, so this is the first prototype. This worked pretty well, I didn't measure the dyna, but uh, I feel it is. it should be like stronger than the KDX uh, with my butt. Then the problem with this approach is that uh, actually we don't need the um, separate uh, snorkel and the cover because this way we waste this part of the intake possible intake area. So I decided, okay, maybe I can design the entire assembly, with the snorkel and lead. The tricky part was to get uh, measurements right, so I made uh, several prototypes of these uh, leads just to match the exact size of the of the airbox. It was like a little bit tricky. I used uh, less material for faster printing. And then the other part was I want to maximize the uh, area for the flow, so this part goes between the airbox and your seat so you need to measure this really precisely to not uh, press it with the, your seat uh, yeah so <laughs> i had a couple of prototypes and this one was too big so i ended up with this design so this snorkel has area for the flow about 4080 millimeters according to my measurements uh, it's made from PLA it's 3d printed um, overall it's, it's it's pretty solid and uh, I will test it soon on the Dyna and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want 
uh, to know the results of. I will benchmark all the available intakes. And I think this should be pretty close to the open air box. So 4,080 millimeter is this section, this area. Here it's a bit more. Uh, so it should be less restriction. And I hope it still be very quiet. Also, as you can see, there are some rough areas here. I have already applied the silicone gasket here just to seal it better. Now, <coughs> if I attach it and if I use bolts to, to tighten it, it will be uh, like really tight match to the air box and there should be no vibrations. Um, so that's all for now. Subscribe to the channel. And um, <coughs> I hope next week I can benchmark all the intakes on the diner. See you soon.